Hi guys and welcome to Home Cooking Mummy. I'm a mum to two and a wife and I like to eat home cooked good food. Today I want to show you how to make a sausage pie. Sounds really simple. It is really simple but it's not something that people make it a lot. They tend to buy it. I want to show you just how simple it is. So what you're going to need is your bowl and 300 grams of plain flour. That's it. And while you're doing this, don't forget to preheat your oven. Mine is on gas mark four. There we are, 300 grams. Just move that out of the way. Then you're gonna to want to add in a little bit salt so I usually you can use just lard or you can just use butter I tend to use half of each so I'm going to go for 80 grams of butter just put this in here a little bit more that'll do move that out of the way and the same for the lard or maybe if you're in America this would be I think but don't quote me on it Crisco so let's pop this in we'll just cut this up makes it easier to rub it in Now the tin I'm using, it doesn't have to be an exact size, but the tin I'm using is a very old tin, which I find are the best, the older tins. Let me just pop this over here. It releases the pie easier too. And it's the size of a side plate. So what we're going to do now, And we're going to use a fork, just cover all the fat with flour, and just start to rub it in a little bit. You can do this in the mixer, which I often do with the paddle attachment. No liquid is needed, this is much harder, well I'd say harder, it take, just takes longer to do by hand that's all and you shouldn't need any liquid I don't know if any of you guys are like me but every day as soon as the kids go to school I mean mine are young kids they're still in primary school six and nearly eight every day it's a case of what do I cook today what's for tea and sometimes it can be a real pain in the bum trying to think of something different to cook all the time. Sometimes, to be honest, I just get fed up with trying to think of stuff to cook. And then it's it, it's just too easy then to fall back on these rubbish things that are in the freezer. Yes, I have them in the freezer as well. For convenience. Them alphabet potatoes. Them little mini waffles. But I do try to get, not that it makes it any better, but I do try to get the ones that are carrot, mini carrot waffles. Um, yeah, so I think if you can think ahead, maybe two to three days, if that's all you can manage to plan ahead, especially if you're out of the house working. I'm not, not anymore. I used to work full time and my husband stayed at home with the children. And he's a great cook, much better than me. Um, but I know I can no longer go to work because my back and my legs I could have surgery on them so I tend to do a lot of cooking sat on a special chair which enables me to still do things that I want to do for my family 
and not sit and feel sorry for myself. Right, let's see, see this now. All I've done is squeezed it together. That's the butter and the lard, bringing it together like that. You want to try to get this done as quick as you can, to be honest. And that's that. All you want to do now is pop it into the fridge and leave it there for a good half an hour, even though your oven's preheating. So pop it into the fridge for half an hour to chill and then we'll get on with the filling. Hi again guys, so the pastry has been chilled. What we're going to do now is just put some flour down. Take the pastry out, at this point it is very, very cold. You want to keep it that way. Just collect up what you can. Move that out of the way. As you can see I don't have a lot of workspace so I'll try to keep everything out of the way so I want a top for this so maybe that much that should do for that so all I'm doing is just working this pastry a little bit to make it easier for me to roll out and pop into the tin Both of my girls seem to really enjoy this pie. I think in their head it's more sausage roll. If you now if you're from the UK you know what a sausage roll is. They're very popular. As they should be, because they are great. As long as you don't get the ones from I hate to say it, but the Greg's ones, oof, the pink meat, not my cup of tea. So keep like this. This is a short crust pastry. You just need to work it a bit so it sticks together. At the minute it is quite humid. Which doesn't help the pastry. Or me at least. I'm not the biggest fan of the hot weather. So we'll roll this out. Just need it big enough to fit into this this old tin. Don't mock the tins, the tins are fabulous. The older I say the better. I have some that I use, which are perfect. Invicta wedding cake tins, absolutely fabulous. And they are years old. So all I'm doing now, as long as it doesn't stick, like I said, it is quite humid. So put it onto the rolling pin and I'm just going to throw it into the pan. This is not the perfect science. Poke it in, do what you got to do to get that base in there. Because it's pastry, it will shrink in the oven. So you want to try and work as fast as you can because the colder it goes into the oven the better. There we go. So that's in. We do need an overlay of the sides. So I'll pinch that. Push the sides in. And my kids not too crazy about a super thick base so I don't tend to do one same as my husband with quiches 
especially in the corners sometimes you can forget to push them in and they get real thick when they're cooked so that's it that's all I'm going to do give it a stab then we want some grease proof paper And then all you're going to do with your grease proof paper is screw it up like so and then unscrew it. This makes it less rigid and easier to put in. If you didn't do that it'd be a flat, a flat piece that you wouldn't be able to mould it in but there properly. Try to cover the sides as well. Now I'm just using baking beans. These will stop the pastry from rising. So they can get melt those. That's one tub. And I've got another tub. I think in total for this I use, let's have a look at the tub. You know, from kitchen. It's this one from Kitchen Craft, you can get them on Amazon. Plus, I ordered 200 grams from eBay. So, this plus the 200 grams I ordered from eBay is perfect to really press down and get into the nooks and crannies, stop it from rising. Now, this now I will put into the oven in the center of the oven, gas mark for, for 20 minutes. Then I will take it, the beans out on the paper and I'll put it back in with a egg yolk glaze for another 10 minutes to crisp up the base. So I'm going to put this into the oven and I'll see you back here in a minute to do the filling. Right guys, so the pastry is in the oven. I've cleaned down my workspace which gives me a little bit of room. I mean I don't have a massive kitchen so I have to make do. So that's in the oven baking. This is the sausage I use to make my own sausage pie. So in the UK we have different areas of the UK. I live in Lincolnshire so we have Lincolnshire sausages. Obviously I'm a Lincolnshire girl so I think Lincolnshire are best. And then we have many many types of sausage but one of the other most popular ones are Cumberland sausages. My children won't eat these on their own. They find them a little bit too spicy. So I add the same amount of Lincolnshire as I do Cumberland. So the weight on each packet is 454 grams. It's eight sausages per packet. And what I'm gonna do with these is open them up. Pour them in. These are all linked. So I'm just going to unlink them. Like so. And then all we're going to do is remove, you can see this look here. That's a sausage casing. We do not want that in the pie. So all you're going to do is run your knife down it remove the casing all you want to get rid of that make a nice little pile is the meat I'm going to do this now for all of these sausages I'll fast forward it for you nobody wants to watch me skinning 16 sausages in real time
so we're back so you have all the sausage you can see the different colors so you can see these are the Lincolnshire because they're more herby I find they can blend a bit more spicy but when you mix the two together it just balances it out nicely obviously if you're not in the UK you're not familiar with these sausages you can use whatever sausages that you use where you are just remember to remove any skin so what I'm going to add to this this is essentially what 900 grams just over of sausage meat so I'm going to grind in a little bit of salt I'm going to squeeze in that was it just a couple of squirts there of tomato ketchup So I've got some garlic and I'm going to use a half teaspoon of garlic I'm going to use the sage that's one teaspoon of sage some onion my kids don't like onions but I think it's more of a texture thing that when they're cooked they go all soggy so they don't like them so I just cheat and use half a teaspoon of onion powder last pepper this is quite finely ground um, which is half a teaspoon I do have different types, I have a garlic pepper, I have a no normal fine pepper but the main thing through all my peppers is that it's black pepper um, I do like coarse ground if I'm putting it on top of my food but that's entirely up to you what you put in it it's not for me to tell you what pepper to use in your pie so we'll get on with the filling and it's straight in with the hands they're the best tools we have Looks kind of gross, don't it? If you have kids, I mean mine are at school at the moment. But if you have kids at home while you're making this, I'm sure they would love getting their hands in this. I'm not sure much of it will end up in the pie, but I'm sure they would love to get a hold of this and play in it, mix it up for you. You can of course turn this into mini pies should you wish line use your pastry cut it out line and muffin tins again blind bake use your beads weigh your pastry down so it doesn't shrink in too much when it's cooked bring it out just like take a piece roll it drop it into your mu muffin pan on each one cover it with pastry what's your uncle but me I'm going for a big one that's it that is it that's going to go in the fridge now and I'm going to wash my hands and when the pastry is cooked I'll show you and then I'll show you me finishing off the pie before it goes into the oven so for now this will go in the fridge I'm going to wash my hands and I'll catch you back in a minute hi guys so it's been 20 minutes I've took it out of the oven I've left the oven on but what we need to do is carefully take out this paper and the beads these beads be so careful because they are extremely hot so this you can throw away any of you that use baking beads now that these do, do get extremely hot and they take quite, quite some time to cool down so we'll leave them there now this will go back into the oven after i give it a quick egg wash for maybe another 10-15 minutes until it's 
I mean the edges are cooked, the bottom just needs to be cooked a little bit more. Nobody likes a soggy bottom. So I'll see you again after it's been in for another 10 minutes. Right guys, so we're back. The base, perfectly cooked it and it's out of the oven. What we're going to do is throw this in there now. See this, this part, I am going to cook this fully once I've uh, showed you everything. But if you was going to make the pastry, do not put the meat in if you're not going to cook it all straight away. Otherwise, this would heat up, left out on the worktop, or put in the fridge, and it would go off because it was partially cooked. So what you want to do is just fill, fill your tin. Well, pie case in this, this instance. But please don't put it on there and then just not cook it, it needs to be cooked. Otherwise uh, somebody's going to end up with a bad stomach. So squash it. When this is cooking, it it's sausage, I mean sorry, it's got fat in it as you can see. It will release fat and it will shrink away a little as it's cooked. This is why you wouldn't cut this as soon as it's cooked. If you cut it, you can have a pool of juice and fat that's been reduced from the sausage meat and it's going to be surrounding the pie on the inside. So what you, if you cut it, it's just going to leak out. If you leave it for half an hour, 45 minutes to cool down, it will solidify and it will go back into the meat and it will be absolutely perfect. So I'm going to get rid of this. Wash my hands quick. What I'm going to do quickly is just take this edge off. So, move that. I highly recommend one of these. They come in handy for so many things. So you scrape that off. My bin's right under here. No problem. So next we'll drop an egg. And then keep cleaning as you go in. Just gonna mix the egg. So remember we kept some aside to go over the top. Took it out the fridge. And so we're just going to roll this. And it is going to be quite hard to roll out because it's solid, it's been in the fridge. Just work with it, it will work eventually. It will roll out into that bowl that you want. So, let's just fast forward while I try and get the lid for this pie.
Remember to push down the edges, just crimp it. Typical in it that it doesn't go on properly when the camera's on. Normally it's absolutely fine, but there you go. <laughs> Guess the soft long. Create an opening in your pie. And just brush it with your egg wash. And gotta be beautiful. It's got to taste nice. Now, this will go into the oven. And it'll go into the oven on gas four for about 50 minutes and then I'll check it and see if it's uh, firm just just at the minute press it and it's very soft Sauce, sausage meat once it cooks gets really firm and I'll check the inside as well 50 minutes I'll guess for 50 to 60 minutes we'll, we'll do it so now I'm going to pop it into the oven and clean this mess up and then I'll show you the end result right I've just took the pie out of the oven so what I'm going to do is some wedges to have with it for tonight so we like flavoured wedges not just plain wedges and really the just as quick to make yourself rather than buying them from the shop what we'll do is drop some oil in there because we are going to air fry these then I've got some ancho grande chilli powder, this is smoky I'm just going to go half a teaspoon you can do it whatever flavour you want to do it this is garlic pepper again I'm going to go half a teaspoon garlic pepper regular garlic Sorry, some of my labels are faded. Getting redone. So we're gonna, for the normal garlic, we're gonna go for a teaspoon. We've got mixed herbs, full teaspoon. kids are not having these so they're not going to notice the onion again full teaspoon and we've got some oh, smoky sea salt flakes and I'm going to go these are not as strong as normal table salt so I'm going to go for a full teaspoon so that's my list there now I can get rid of the spoon. Don't worry about coating these. It will coat them absolutely fine because of the oil that's in there. And it's what will help them crisp in the air fryer. I haven't pre-cooked these. All I've done is wash them, make sure they're small. So in half. That's it. Half again. So we'll take it at an angle and an angle again. There you have your wedge. So down the middle, two pieces. I mean, if you want smaller wedges, do smaller wedges. Just means making that angled cut there and then one there. That gives you a three out of that same size probably won't use all these because there is quite a lot so get these done get them coated once they're coated in the oil they're not going to turn 
that horrible grey colour that you get with potatoes when you leave them if they're not cooked. You don't have to put them into water. Once the oil coats them, it stops the oxygen from turning a mucky grey colour. Let's see. I don't know. I wonder if my daughter might eat some of these. is just mix it up make sure you've got everything coated there you go so your pie's cooked and these potatoes by the time that you leave the pie to cool to a decent enough temperature to cut and eat, these will have cooked in the air fryer. Again, that's going to depend how hot your air fryer gets, what temperature you have it on, how cut you, how big or small you cut your potatoes, and what sort of potatoes. These plain English white potatoes. I would rather have used Maris Piper potatoes. They do get crispier. I don't know what would be a crispy potato in America. I know the Idaho potato is supposed to be good. And they russet. There, I've used them, so that's that. Let's get them all mixed up again. Them down. Let's see. Mm, there's one. There we are. That's the flavour on there. You can put on whatever you like. Just make sure you oil them. And make sure you have definitely got it covered. No worse than grey potatoes. That's it. That's what we're going to have. Probably be some baked beans. So sausage, a piece of sausage pie, some crispy potato wedges, which, as you see, took five minutes. It doesn't take long at all. So why go spending two, three pound on a packet of potato wedges when you, it just takes that long? You can do it yourself, and that so much better. And some baked beans classic British item baked beans with everything so that's that just fetching the pie that's got to cool it has cracked somewhat and you can actually see the oil once it's cooled down it's going to make no difference it's very crispy on top can't wait to eat it so there you go leave your pie to cool and it's very hot get your wedges in to cook there you are so I just want to say if you watched all this thank you very much for watching my first video my first upload like comment subscribe Love to hear any feedback that you've got. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.